go over some mesh uh, work. Uh, here's a. That. There we go. So we're gonna actually make a bottle or a vase or whatever this is. Uh, we're using a mesh cylinder. You can open up a tool by right clicking, go to smooth mesh. And what we're gonna do is click on that mesh cylinder. Or you can hold the left key here, move down to a mesh cylinder. Let's start points. We're gonna do a radius of or diameter of three and a height of around nine inches. That's about right. And what we need to do is we need to actually concave or fill up these edges at the bottom. We actually concave them because if we fill it, we need to have a solid. So to do that, first thing I'm going to do is go to where is it? Here we go. Uh, we're in the mesh command. Uh, we're going to change this from no fillet to only select edges. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to select all these at the bottom. I guess you can see a real red dot. And I'm going to keep on going around until I select them all. This is part of the gizmo that we're going to be using for this. Alright, so selected all these. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the move gizmo, I'm going to actually move the use the scale gizmo. The only problem is I need to put like a center for it. Or actually, no. Go we'll scale from here. Oh, geez, it's not going to let me. Alright, get it. Scale gizmo. I'll never repeat this. So. Again, I'm going to go to uh, edges, just like the edges around. Make a big blue box because there's only, you can only grab the edges because that's my filter. Now it's, it's I don't know why the gizmo is not centered. Um, move, select constraints, relocate gizmo. That's what I'm trying to do because it's at the side. I want to relocate it to the middle. So I right clicked on it from the, at the origin. I'm going to go to relocate gizmo. And I won't even do that. Uh, that's not working. Why is this? Alright, I'm about to go. So I have this object, I want to move the gizmo to be in the center, bottom, and I want to scale these edges inward. So I'm going to go to over here. With no fill, I'm going to change it to edges. I'm going to select these edges. Notice that my gizmo is out of the area that I want it in. I want it to be in the middle, it's not. There's an easy, usually easy way to fix this. Just right click at the base uh, center point. And and it doesn't work this time. <laughs> All right, gonna do this again here. Relocate. There we go. This time works. Get the center, and I'm gonna use a scale option here. And I can scale it out. I'm just gonna type in 75.75, uh, .75, so 75 percent of its original size. So I got that bottom finally figured out. I'm gonna do the same thing with the top here. Edges. I select these edges. Oops. Or actually, I'm going to try using the vertex. Let's see how that comes out. Without scaling up. That's good. All right, so we'll go to edges again. Or Got that. Go back over here to scale gizmo.
I'm gonna move this gizmo right here, relocate it at the center, and scale. Oops. And where's my scale? Scale. Ooh. There we go. Scale it down to 0.5. You guys don't have to do the same size. But I have something like this. Now, if I actually want to extrude this out to be straight without having this curve, so instead of holding control, yeah, I'm gonna put no filler. So instead of, like, instead of selecting each face and moving them up like this which will take forever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my mesh commands, go to my extrude face, just select the face out here and extrude it up, I don't know, 0.5 maybe. Yeah. And you guys can see that it gets extruded up without a problem. And again, I can do that again if it's too small. And I've got to extrude it out, which is great. Now I have these two pieces. I can uh, scale this inside to give it a little uh, cap like this, where it's concaved in. To do that, I will go to do edges again. I'll just select the ed edges around. So I get all of them. I can move the gizmo. Oops. So I go to here. Reload gizmo, and I can actually center it up here and get the sun. That's I'm not doing it perfect, so no worries. Got to do 0.25, make it really thin. Got something like this, pretty interesting. I'm gonna actually select a few of the top ones. You can always deselect two by holding the same control button. There we go. And we should try to move it inward. I grabbed the side one, which isn't good, but that's okay. Yeah. You can deselect that one. Yeah, but I don't even know. Uh, you know, I'm going to just do a face. That way it's a lot easier. I don't have problems with selecting any additional lines. Because that's what usually happens. There we go. And now we can start smoothing it in. I don't want to, You can always add more stuff to it, or you can actually push one of these out, push them in. Actually, I'll push it in. It'll look pretty cool. There you go. It's actually a canoe. And then I'll go to uh, Smooth Mesh. Select the object, smooth it, smooth it again, and again. I think that's all I can do. And it's nice and smooth. It's like a half, half bottle. So, easy grip bottle. There you go. That's how you do a little bit meshing. Quick review.